Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. Today, I'm here with another random game for you. Just a random game from the past. And it does not involve the White Sox. I'm sure you'll be happy to hear that. Today, we got a 1979 matchup. Doesn't everybody remember 1979? The 1979 New York Mets, who were a very bad team, will take on an almost equally bad team, um, the San Diego Padres. You can't handle the truth! Of 1979, and the game will be in San Diego in old Jack Murphy Stadium. And uh, let me go down here. I got a turn down the sound so that we don't have we don't have that to contend with so I will be the manager of the New York Mets um, and the computer will take the Padres we will see if we want to change this lineup any that the Mets have in um, I am going to say probably no. Let me take a look at Elliot Maddox. Let's see how good he was. He was not all that good. Um, he was a good center fielder, though. And I got Mazzilli right now in center. So, but he was a good defensive center fielder and a good hitter. All right, so we're going to just go with the lineup. We'll go with the lineup that he's got. It's going to be Craig Swan against Randy Jones for the Padres. So let's get at it. Stadium for today's ball game. So there you go. Frank Tavares leading off against Randy Jones. And that looks like it's going to be a fly out. To Golden Richards, I believe that is. So let's in here. Let me move. Let me let's move me up a little bit. Well, yeah, there we go. Um. So now we got Willie Montanez batting against Randy Jones, and it looks like he is out. And that brings up Lee Mazzilli. There he is, the aforementioned Lee Mazzilli, who I was considering taking out of the game, but didn't. And he may actually have a double, a double or a homer here. Out of his reach. It's a double. It's a triple. It's a triple for Lee Mazzilli. Gotta love that if you're a Mets fan. So that brings up Joel Youngblood trying to knock him in from 90 feet away with two down. And that's a slow roller. Let's see if they can make the play. Not in time. No, Youngblood got a single and knocks in the Mets' first run of the game. And it's here in the first inning. And that brings up Steve Henderson. And he's going to have a single. And I am going to send the lead runner. So now Richie Hebner is up against uh, Randy Jones. Randy Jones getting his uh, butt dragged through the mud here a little bit. But that's an out. So the fans go crazy after three hits and a run come across for the lowly Mets. And you got Craig Swan out there. Craig Swan. Love that guy. And he's pitching to Golden Richards, who is going to probably double or homer here. No, Mazzilli caught it. Must have been a great catch at the wall there. So you got Jerry Turner up. And he does get a hit. So he's on. Dave Winfield. Before he was Dave Winfield. Just kidding. He was always Dave Winfield. But he is going to potentially fly out. And now there's Gene Tennis. Gene Tennis, of course, from those great A's teams. Power hitting catcher, but he's out. And so the Padres cannot score any runs there. And Jones is back out to the mound pitching against John Stearns, the Mets catcher. And he's going to double, looks like, maybe in the gap. 
Shopping at the Gap for John Stearns. Doug Flynn is up. Of course, I think the pitcher's up after Flynn, so I'm just gonna let uh, just gonna let Flynn hit, see what he can do. And he gets a single, but we gotta hold the runner because he didn't have a good chance of scoring really there. And now Craig Swan is up to plate, and he strikes out. So that brings up Frank Tavares again. Frank Tavares looks like he's popping out, popping out to the second baseman here. And that brings up Willie Montanez. And he hits it in the gap, but he did not get to first base safely, so that's it. So the Mets are still leading 1-0, going to the bottom of the second. Craig Swan pitching against Paul Dade. And Paul Dade rips a single. That brings up Dan Briggs for the Padres. Man on, no outs. He tried to get a lead and he couldn't. So let's see what Briggs does. He strikes out. Craig Swan throwing the heat. You got Fernando Gonzalez up. And Fernando Gonzalez is out. Tavares, the sure-handed Tavares, making the play. And Ozzie Smith, before Ozzie Smith with Ozzie Smith. But he's out. So, yeah, I mean, this uh, the Padres of 1979, I don't think they realized they had a future All-Star team. But Lee Mazzilli is up against Jones here in the third. He is going to be out. Joel Youngblood up. Joel Youngblood, who is coming in his plate appearance one for one with an RBI, but he's going to pop out to Smith. And that brings up Steve Henderson. And Steve Henderson is going to be out. So the Mets get nothing in the third. We go to the bottom of the third, and they're holding on to a one nothing lead. And Craig Swan is the man charged with holding that lead as he pitches against his counterpart, Randy Jones. And they do get Jones. Golden Richards is up. Gene Richards. And he is going to rip a single. 80% baby stealer. I will, let's see if, uh, no, I was watching him. All right, so that's with the watch. He's, he's 80%, so he may take off. But uh, right now, Jerry Turner is at the plate, and he did try to get a lead, and he couldn't. So now Jerry Turner hits the ball to Tavares, and that's a double play. And, uh, Richie Hebner is up. I'm surprised we don't have a picture of Richie Hebner. We're going to have to do something about that. But he's batting against uh, Randy Jones here in the top of the fourth. Lefty on lefty. And he's going to be over 2 on the day. No, he is. He walked. So, uh, John Stearns is up. He's one for one with a double. Somehow he ripped a double his last time up. Let's do what we can do now. And he is out. Must have been a scorching liner. And we got Doug Flynn up. One for one himself, which also is amazing. And he is out. And now that leaves it up to Craig Swan to get out. And doesn't look like he's going to, and he didn't. So we go to the bottom of the fourth inning. Dave Winfield up. And he bounces out. No, he's safe. He's safe. They couldn't get him. Winfield with that speedy, when he was young, speedy boy. And now we got Gene Tennis up after him. And we are, nah, we'll try, we'll try to throw. And we don't get him. 
So I guess Winfield was fast when he was really young. And that's going to be a line out to short. So Winfield at second, one out. Dade up. And Dade is out, and that brings up Briggs. And he's going to ground out. So that's it. It's still one nothing Mets. Five hits for the Mets, four hits for San Diego, no errors by either team. Pretty well played game so far. Frank Tavares batting against Jones. And he is out. Willie Montanez. Looks like he might. No, he's going to fly out to Winfield, probably. And that brings up Lee Mazzilli, one for two with a triple on the game. And he is going to fly out, it looks like. So we're going to the top, to the, no, to the bottom of the fifth. Bottom of the fifth inning, Craig Swan's still out there. I don't know who the closers the closer on the Mets was, but that guy might come into use here in this uh, this very close game. Ozzy Smith up, and he strikes out. And that brings up Randy Jones. And they will let him bat because he's pitching great. He's either pitching great or the Mets lineup is terrible. It's probably a little of both. Joel Youngblood up against Randy Jones. And he is going to pop out to the second baseman. That brings up Steve Henderson. And he is, he's got a single it looks like. Yes, he does. Steve Henderson's aboard with Richie Hedner up. And Richie Hebner is going to fly out. So I figured this would be a good time for a random baseball game with the World Series having just gotten underway last night on my birthday. And John Stearns looks like he's going shopping at the Gap again. No, he snared it. They caught it at the wall. Stearns was robbed on that one. So we got Gene Richards batting against Craig Swan. And it was nice to see also the Padres are going back to their roots and going back to these old uniforms because these were awesome uniforms. Jerry Turner is up, but leave a comment in the notes and let me know if you really think the, the uh, Padres going back to their original type looking uniforms is a good thing or if it's a bad thing. I mean, they've had many iterations of uniform over the years. Dave Winfield, look, he got another hit. Dave Winfield is really being a pest to uh, Craig Swan today. And he's at first again, and he stole last time, if you remember, and now Gene Tennis is up. This time, though, Winfield can't get a lead. And that's going to be a slow bouncer. Let's see what happens with that. And it's say he's safe. And they threw the ball away, it looks like, too. So runners at second and third with Paul Dade up. Craig Swan has to feel like he can't let this run score. And that's going to be a bounce out to the first baseman. And he does make the play. So they hold on. They still maintain their one nothing lead, the Mets do. And Doug Flynn comes up. Top of the seventh here. And he is out. That brings up Craig Swan. I got him. Uh, I got a decision here. But Craig Swan is really shutting him down. I mean, he really is. He's dueling Randy John or Randy Jones. So I'm gonna let him hit. I'm just gonna let him hit, see what happens. And it looks like he's going to bounce to second is what's going to happen. 
And that brings up Frank Tavares. And that's it. So they have the seventh inning stretch here as we go to the bottom of the seventh. Let's see if my decision to keep Swan pitching and in the game was a smart decision. He's only at 83 pitches when his uh, any of weakness is 100, it looks like. So Frank uh, or uh, Fernando Gonzalez is up. Second baseman. He's on. There was an error. Error by the catcher. So Ozzy Smith is up. Thank God Ozzy Smith at this point in his career was basically like a pitcher batting. And he's going to ground out to second. Possible double play, and it is. And that brings us back up to the plate. Top of the eighth. Montanez up. And he got on by an error, I think. So we got Lee Mazzilli up. Tripled today, but that's about it. And he is going to pop out. And up steps Joel Youngblood. And he is going to be out, yeah, it looks like. So, he, but he moves the uh, runner over to second. So we got two down, Steve Henderson up. And they walk Henderson to get to Hebner. Lefty on lefty. So let's see if I can do something about that. We're going to look at what we got as options over here. Hebner is the third baseman. Do we have any right-handed hitters? We got Dan Norman, who was horrible. We got Flores, who was more horrible. We got Trevino, who was decent. And then we got the aforementioned Maddox. I'm gonna, I am going to say, you know what? I'm going with Trevino. And I'm gonna pinch hit Trevino for, okay. So we gotta, computer doesn't like my hair trigger mouse. So we're going to go manually do it on the computer. Trevino for Hebner. Pinch hitting. So let's see if he takes out Randy Jones. He doesn't. And are we going to get a double out of that? No, we're just going to get a fly ball. And I may just put Trevino at third. Let's see. He is a third base 4E28. Not good, but probably don't have a lot better over there. Bruce Boysclare. Um, Hodges. Maddox is a third base 4E24. All right, we're just going to keep Trevino in. Just easier to do it that way. And Craig Swan is facing Randy Jones, who I'm sure they're going to pinch hit for here in the bottom of the eighth. And they do with Jay Johnstone. And like I said, all-star team of the future, this Padres team. But he's going to pop out up into a telephone booth to Tavares. Brings up Gene Richards. And he walked Gene Richards, and he has some speed, so let's see what happens. But Jerry Turner's at the plate. And he's going to ground out to first, hopefully. And he does. So we got Richards at second with two down and Winfield up. And I pitched to him. I probably shouldn't have. But what's going to happen there? And now it was a wild pitch, I guess. All right, let's see what we're going to do. Now, nah, I'll pitch to him. And he strikes out. Nice. Swan has been great here. 
So now we're going to the top of the ninth. John Stearns up. Flynn is up. And you know, you know who's coming up. Chris Wilmot is coming up. And I'm just going to let him hit because there's two down. I mean, what are you going to, you got to find a guy with power that can hit a home run if you want to score a run here. So they walk Swan. Huh. Mark Lee walks Swan. All right, well, Tavares is up. And he's going to fly out to right. So, yeah, you know, send Swan back out there. He's at 105, 100 pitches. So he is starting to uh, get gas, probably. We'll see, though. Fly ball to Mazzilli. Paul Dade up. Probably the kind of game you would expect between an expansion, a bad expansion team and a Mets team that was just bad. And that brings up Dan Briggs. He might be the final out here. Craig Swan, but what happens? And it is an out. And so let's get the box score from this game. This was quite a game. The Mets scored a run in the first inning. And then that's all they needed because Craig Swan was just awesome. Craig Swan went nine. He allowed six hits, walked only one, and allowed no earned runs. But Randy Jones was great, too. He pitched eight innings, allowed six hits, walked one, and allowed one earned run. While only striking out two. So that was, uh, there you go. There's the box score. You can look at it. But hey, my managerial skills come through and help the 1979 Mets. Defeat the 1979 Padres. Wouldn't you just love to know what the records of those two teams against each other were for that year? So would I, but I don't. I would just suggest you go look it up. So that's it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.